So today, I'm really excited to share po yung ating uh, fourth crown. We are still in the series of yung crowns natin, which was started by uh, Pastor Willie. So, we will continue our crowns in heaven. So, I hope everyone will tune in to God now and uh, listen to what He's going to say to each and every one of us. Let's pray. Father God, we just want to leave to you, Lord, this time that we're going to uh, uh, remember again, listen uh, through your uh, words, messages uh, that you have channeled to me, Panginoon. Use me, Lord, as an empty vessel tonight, today. Uh, Lord, don't let anything, O oh Lord, that is in my own knowledge and wisdom to come forward against your knowledge and wisdom. And I pray, Lord, Father God, that you will take over, take full control of what we're going to learn tonight, today. And I pray, Lord, Father God, prepare niyo po kami, bawat isa, hearts namin. Anoint each and everyone's hearts uh, that will be able to receive, Lord, all your message, all your words today with gladness, with joy, and with peace, Father God. In Jesus' name, and we entrust all of this time, we come against any spirit of sleepiness, Father God. And uh, Lord, any, anything that will hinder us from focusing to you today, Ibin yung labahan po namin, Panginoon. Hayaan niyo po makalimutan namin yan in this time, O oh God. And we give you full control, O oh God, in Jesus' name. We love you, Father. We love you, Jesus. And we love you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So as I mentioned earlier, yung ating pong uh, our uh, title for today, or our message for today is about the fourth crown. Okay. But... Uh, in the past, I just want to share some of the learnings that were that we had okay, from the scriptures, you know, some biblical truths before I start. Because it's very important that we always remember some all of these biblical truths, where it come, where it comes from, uh, what 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 we are talking about. Ano ba tong crowns na to? Bakit ba kailangan ko ng crowns? Uh, who will get the crown? How how do we get it? So basically, this is where all of these uh, questions uh, come into to place. No? Now first, we have to remember that we are all sinners. Romans 3.23 20, says, So there's no one can really say, na, No, wala akong kasalanan. I don't have any sin. I'm okay. I'm not offending anybody. I'm, I'm good. I'm giving to the poor. Yeah, I'm taking care of the poor. But God said, we are all sinners. No. So we need to go back to the first book of the, the Bible to be able to learn and uh, understand what I am talking about sa, sa Genesis. No? But, you know, God made a way for all of us na sinners to be saved. Sabi niya, and we are all condemned to die. Sabi nga, ito pala yung uh, uh, result ng sin. We are all condemned to die in hell. Romans 6.23 But God loves us. God loves us. He don't want anyone to perish. That binigay niya, He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die for you and for me. To eliminate, to stop yung uh, old practice of, of animal uh, sacrifice. No? In the old times, in the Old Testament, when you, are, when you sin, you just need to do uh, burnt offerings, sin offerings. But you know, God doesn't want that na maging uh, parang mechanical lang tao. That whenever you sin, you offer. Yeah? Hindi pa pwede yun na ganun lang ang ating gagawin. But because of His great love for all of us, He let Jesus Christ come down here on earth to die for you and for me. For, to suffer the consequences of the sin that we're supposed to get sa Romans 6.23. Jesus loves us. The Father loves us. He gave up His life while we, will, we were still sinners. Romans 5.8. No? Uh, Jesus Christ died for the sinners. Sabi nga sa Bible, He did not came for, uh, for those who are not sick, but for the sick 
Hindi po yung sick na India, no? Sick people. Romans. We are saved by grace and not by works. Ephesians 2, 8 to 10. So that no one can boast. Wala pwede, pwede mag magyabang na, yes, mataas ang aking, uh, mataas ang aking uh, uh, position sa Panginoon because I'm rich. Because it's not by works or marami akong ginawa sa Panginoon. Yes, we're talking about the works that we're going to do for God and we will, re will receive crowns. But that's not the, uh, the uh, essence of having grounds to boast, no? But to be proud of what you have done for the Lord. Kasi nga, we are saved by grace. Ano po yung grace? Si Jesus Christ. Siya po ang way. Hindi po yung church. Not the church. Not your, uh, the brethren who have invited you. Or the pastor that is preaching. It's not about that. It's about Jesus Christ. No? When we all go to heaven, hindi ka tatanungin ng Panginoon sa kan church na kabilang. No? But what? Have you, re have you received Jesus Christ in your life? Complete obedience is the proof of our love for Jesus Christ. John 14, 20, uh, 23 to 24. Yan po ang proof ng love natin. Obedience. Okay? Obedience. Not uh, burning sacrifices like what the old people are doing. And we shall all face the white throne judgment as mentioned in Romans uh, 14. So though we are saved, we will still face the white throne judgment. Kaya nga sabi po doon sa, sa white throne judgment, books will be open. Book of life and books will be open. We will be judged by the Father, James 4.12. When we enter heaven gate, heaven's gate, we will face the judgment seat of Christ to receive our rewards. 2 Corinthians 5.10 Kaya po last time nung nag-share uh, nag, uh, din ako when I preach also here, eh, are we confident? Diba? Are we confident to go to that judgment seat of Christ? No, Confident that yes, I have done my part here on earth. Or Naiya ka, you're shy kasi you didn't do anything. You have not done anything for your salvation. Na wala tayong ginawa. No, but again, hindi po works. No, what I did after I have received the grace. Yun ang importante na pag-usapan natin. Salvation is free, but we need to protect and work out our salvation. Don't get me wrong. Salvation is free, but we need to protect and work out our salvation. Re believe, receive, surrender. Philippians, uh, medyo. Philippians 2.12 And rewards are earned and we need to protect our crowns. Revelations 3.11 I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown. <laughs> Meron pala nangunguha ng crown. So rewards are earned and we need to protect our crowns. We're talking about this because we need to be aware of what's happening. And finally, Satan is relentless. Hindi titigil si Satan. Ngayon sinasabi ko, protect your crowns. Or protect our crowns because Satan is relentless. John 10.10 10 says, The thief is coming. The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy what was planned for you and for me. So he will not stop. The, the enemy will not stop. As I mentioned last time, the enemy, si Satan, you know, is really doing this from the beginning of, of time. Diba? From the time of Adam and Eve hanggang ngayon. He's not stopping because ayaw niyang, he don't want the plans of God to be accomplished in human beings' life. Sa atin, sa buhay natin. Ayaw niya yun. Kaya nga galit siya pag hindi na tayo BFF sa kanya. Eh, no? And he will do everything in his evil mind to derail and stop what was already started in your life. So sabi ko nga last time, don't let 
uh, don't let the works of the enemy uh, gain a, a foothold in your life. Because you will not notice yung foothold, stronghold na. Amen? Revelations 12, uh, 22.12 says, Look, I am coming soon, sabi ng Panginoon. And my reward is with me, and I will give to each person according to what they have done. Is it clear? Salvation is free, but rewards are earned. And sabi ng Panginoon, darating, dat, dadating tayo dun sa time na He will be coming, and the rewards are with Him, and He will give each person according to what we have done. Revelations 22.12 Yung pinanggalingan po ng aking shinir. So, scripture showed, scripture showed us three of the seven crowns no? from the past three weeks that we are talking about the crowns. First, the crown of life is given to those who continue to win over temptation. You know, temptation will always be there. Amen? Temptation to eat buffet, ang mura ng buffet sa Barry Festa, 29 dirhams lang, grabe. Huwag <laughs> kayong pupunta doon ng maaga kasi 29 dirhams lang ang buffet. You know, there's so many temptations in our lives, di ba? Temptations of wrong relationship, especially dito sa Middle East. You know, whenever an OFW goes out from, from the Philippines, it becomes, you know, freedom! Parang si ano, William Wallace. Yeah. Patapok, patapak pa lang sa naiya eh. Freedom na kaagad ang sinisigaw ng ano. So there's so, so many temptations. Don't let the temptations turn into sin. Temptations will be there. No, but it, it's not yet full-blown sin. No? So it's given to those who continue to win over temptation. Amen? We are all winners in Jesus Christ. So don't let the temptation take you back. Okay? Second, the imperishable or enduring ground is given to those who has made spiritual discipline as a, way of, as a way of life and when the fire of testing comes, they endure and not give up. Uh, I remember ang main character natin dyan, si, uh, si Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. No, they have made spiritual discipline their lives. Like si, si Daniel... Uh, he don't want to defile himself with the with the food on the king's table, no? Si King Nebuchadnezzar, no? Ano ba yung food sa king's table? Pagkain na naman, eh, no? Uh, napakasarap niya, king's table. So you will have everything, all sorts of uh, uh, salami. <laughs> yeah, mga, tawag dito, uh, steak. But Daniel no, uh, forbade himself because he don't want to defile. Instead, he went on eating vegetables and water. Kaya nga nagkaroon ng Daniel fast. Eh. And even Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego um, forgo of the power that they had. Kasi naging administrator sila eh, ng, ng mga provinces sa Babylon. But they didn't bow down dun sa mga gods na tinayo ni Nebuchadnezzar. And uh, kada, mag, I think, magre-ring yung bell ba? Or... Kailangan mag, ano sila, mag bow down. But they didn't do that. Even though they, they will lose the power that they, they have received from King Nebuchadnezzar to be administrators. So endure. So they have this imperishable crown. Number three, the crown of righteousness is rewarded to those who long for and takes part in preparing the way for the second coming of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So third crown po yun, crown of righteousness. And today, ang aking pong share is the crown of glory. The fourth crown in our seven-part series, uh, Rewards. Ang ating pong anchor verse will be coming from 1 Peter 5, verses 1 to 4. 1 to, 4. to the elders among you, I appeal as a fellow elder, a witness of Christ's suffering, and one who also will share in the glory to be revealed. Be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care, serving as overseers, not because you must, 
but because you are willing. As God wants you to be, not greedy for money, but eager to serve, not lording it over to those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. So yung chief shepherd, parang chief of police. Scripture reading po natin, napaka-popular. Every Friday, ating uh, binabasa ito. <laughs> Romans 8, 28, 30. No? Romans 8, 28, 30. But I want you to focus on the yellow highlighted uh, text. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. For those God foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son, that He might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those He predestined, He also called. Those He called, He also justified. Those He justified, He also glorified. Romans 8, 28 to 30. No, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. Okay? You know, ganun ng Panginoon, no? there's, there's many from here, we're touched by firstborns. So tayo rin, magiging firstborn, we are also going to be firstborns among many brothers and sisters. And this is the plan of God for each and every one of us. You know, this crown, yung crown, the crown of glory, it's a special reward for faithful, obedient, God-called pastors, elders, deacons, and those who are entrusted with leadership standing in church and in the body of Christ. Those who faithfully teach and preach God's words. Medyo special to, no? Parang lomi. <laughs> no, special why? Because these are for the leaders. But don't get me wrong. Sabihin, hindi para sa akin yan. Hindi mo na ko leader, eh. Ay, hindi naman ako pastor. Ay, hindi naman ako deacon. Hindi naman ako elder. Bata pa ako. No, but you know, we are all called to be leaders. Amen? No one was called just to sit down and listen. We are all called to what? To preach the gospel. <laughs> ah, pwede na rin, the leaders. We are all to share the word of God. Amen? And when you share the word of God, you are leading. What? You are leading that person to Christ. Amen? So, today I would like to encourage you everyone and tell each and every one of you na hindi lang mong po tayo magiging member ng isang church. You are not just going to be a member of a church, but we are all called to do good for God. Amen? So, you know, it's not about... Yes, palakpakan po natin ng Panginoon. Palakpakan natin Panginoon. You know, I, I myself also was, was um, a person who just received Jesus, who received Jesus Christ in my life. But, you know, God had done good things sa buhay ko, in my life, because He brought me into uh, into service. Later on, pag-aaralan po natin yan. You know, uh, ACCI family is a training ground for leaders. Yung ating pong uh, church family. You know, all of us look at each and every one of you as a potential pastors, leaders in the future. Probably not now. Probably not now. But you are a potential. That's why here in our family, we always train and teach everyone na mga willing. Because, you know, our stay here in this country is not permanent. I, I'm here for, for uh, 10 years. I was in Saudi for 8 years. Nothing is permanent. I might go, we might go anytime. Uh, praise the Lord pala sa amnesty, no? So those who are stuck here for so many years can go home without paying anything. Oh, grabe talaga ang blessing ng Lord dito sa bansang ito. Yes, palakpangan natin ng Lord. Uh, nothing is permanent. We can go anytime. 
Amen. Some of you probably have experienced going home. You know, ganun kadali lang. So we have to be ready. We have to train. We have to be quick in gaining knowledge for the Lord. Amen. Because we are going to use by God for His glory. And ACCI family, ating, ang ating family is a training ground. We, we, we give each and every one opportunity to serve the Lord, to grow in the Lord, and be leaders in His vineyard. Uh, you know, the Bible says, the harvest is plentiful. Plentiful. Napakadami po. There's so many there's so many people who needs the Lord. You know, we as, a, we as a, a country, Philippines, we are called the only Christian nation in the Southeast. Kasi yung katabi natin, Buddhist, Muslim, ano ba ba, Hindu. We are, and we are very proud of that. that oy, we are the only Christian nation in the Southeast. But still, if you go to the Philippines, we will see that there's so many lost souls. Amen? Even those who are professing that they are Christian. They go to church just to go to church. But there's still so many people who have not lived the word that they have listened to. Amen? So the harvest is plentiful. And God needs, pakinggan niyo po, God needs willing hearts. Willing to shepherd this flock. Not your education, not your status, not your wealth, not your beauty, next. but your willingness to go out there and share God. He looks, He doesn't look at your past sins. Hindi po tinitingnan ng Panginoon yung previously nagawa natin sa ating mga buhay. Most of us here probably have a dark life or a dark past. But does, God doesn't look at that. In fact, God uses that to be able to open up and share or even minister to other people. Pagaling ka sa broken home, you know, God can use you to children who, are, who were uh, a product of broken families. Kung dati, babaero ka. Di ba? God can use you to lalakero. <laughs> God can use you to those who are having problem with promiscuity. Di ba? You can, you can, ano, you can relate. Ganun kasi, no? You can relate. You can, you can, uh, uh, you can talk about it because you came from it. And God will use that. No, hindi para ipagyabang that I am siga ako before. So many people there in my place uh, fear me. But to be used by God so that other people will realize that yes, there's a chance in God. Amen? Wala pang huli ang lahat. No, huli ang lahat pag patay ka na. He looks at not your um, appearance, Diba? Sabi po kanina, knowledge, ability, and capability. You know, actually, if you go back to the Bible, those who were called by God to, uh, as, a, as, their, as, as His disciples were normally fisher, fishermen. Those who doesn't know anything about scriptures or these are not temple guys. No? Hindi sila yung mga parisis. These are norm, normal people who have normal jobs. So, but the good thing is when you are with God, He will teach you. Amen? He will, he will make your capabilities known. You know, sometimes we just need that to be, ano eh, to be told to us what you can and what you cannot, or what you can do. And sometimes you don't know that you can sing. Sometimes you don't know that you can talk to people. Sometimes you don't know that you can dance until someone tells you to dance. God gives opportunities to those people, to all of us. Sometimes your talent mo hidden lang eh. No? Somebody just need to tell you that yes, you have this talent. 
you have this potential to grow for God. Amen? So, yung mga secret, hindi na secret. Lumalabas na siya. There's one, one story that I just read, sabi, ng pastor dun sa, the pastor told that uh, attendee, uh, why, why don't you join the army of the Lord? Sabi nung attendee, ng attendee, yes, I'm already, uh, I'm already with the army of the Lord. Then the pastor said, why do I see you only, you know, only every six months? Then the attendee said, yes, because I belong to the secret service. <laughs> Going back. So he wants all of us to have this heart of compassion. You know, not yung knowledge, heart of compassion. Seeing people need the Lord. Compassion for the lost, and He will take care for the rest. Sure po yan. Kasi po na-experience namin yan. <laughs> Napasarati. You know, He will take care of the rest. So, are we willing? Tanongin ka ng Panginoon, are you willing? To be part of somebody's spiritual life. Very important that we need to answer that question. Are you willing? Kasi, if you don't answer that question, then probably you will be just going with the flow. But we need to be part of someone's spiritual life. Sabihin nyo naman, ay, hindi ko naman trabaho, hindi naman ako leader, hindi naman ako life lesson group facilitator. Uh, I'm not um, a pastor or I'm not an elder. You know, you don't, you don't need to be one to be a part of someone's spiritual life. Di ba? You can reach out even to one person in your office or just even show how Jesus, you know, yung, yung question of what would Jesus do? If you see someone that is thirsty or hungry, diba? what would Jesus do? Sa ano ko ata napanood yun eh, sa kids, sa kids, ano pa yun ha? Kids video. Yung tanong na what would Jesus do? Seemingly, it's, it's a very, um, you know, parang napaka-simple question, but it makes a lot of sense in our Christian life. Why? Because Jesus is our model, di ba? Amen. So what would Jesus do? So be a shepherd of God's flock. Very important po yan. Be a shepherd of God's flock. Flock doesn't mean you have 30 flocks or 30 persons. You can be one. You can be one. So, how do we shepherd God's flock for His glory and honor? Very important po na mapag-usapan natin. Paano ba tayo nag-shepherd ng flock? You know, our points will be coming from our anchor verse. Yung uh, 1 Peter 5, 1-4. So, 1 Peter 5, 1-4. Number one po, the first one, a God shepherd watches over. If you go back to 1 Peter 5, 1 to 4, makikita niyo po doon. Yung isa sa formula or isang way to do shepherding is to watch over. Parang kanina sa psalm natin, no? God watches over all of us. Ganun po ang trabaho ng isang shepherd, no? To watch over the sheep. Do you know that sheep uh, tend to wander around whenever there's no one shepherding them? Sabi nga doon sa labas ako, yung sheep daw medyo parang dumb. No, They don't know where to go. They don't know where to find pasture. You know, they're not like the, animal, the other animals who can smell water. Grabe na, smell pala yung water. Other animals like uh, deers, lions, they will know where to find water. Kahit pa desert yan. They will find water and they walk and walk and walk until they reach that water. Elephants. Pero ang sheep daw, hindi. They will die in thirst. They will die in thirst because they don't know where, where to find, how to find water. 
And even the sa grass that they're eating, they will eat, eat and eat in that same place. Because they don't know also how to find a good pasture. Hindi nila alam pa paano pumili ng, uh, ng magandang dahon, na, yung dahon na lasang beef. Hindi nila kaya maganap ng ganun. Ha? Hindi katulad ng panda, di ba? Panda, kakainin lang noon ano yun? Eucalyptus uh, leaves lang, di ba? Hindi yung kakain ng anumang leaves. So, the sheep uh, is like that. And we are, we are, as human beings, we're likened. If you go to the Bible and read, all mentioned about sheep, we are all, we, all of us are compared to sheep. Kaya nga sabi ng Panginoon, we are sheep like, we are like sheep without a shepherd. No? Kasi nga, we are all, nag stray away daw tayo. So, a God's shepherd watches over. No? Watches over. Ano ba yung watches over? Ino over si mo, tinitingnan mo. No, you have a, a genuine concern for people. No, tayo pong lahat, dapat mayroong genuine concern to the people. We observe the condition of our flock. Tinitingnan po natin, oh, malungkot si Donan. Ano bang nangyari kay Donan? Diba? Broken hearted na walang love life. Grabe, mahirap sagutin yun. Diba? You know, we care. No, we care. Wala tayong, hindi tayong walang pakialam. Tapos ng Friday service, bahala na sila. Buhay na nakita na lang ulit tayo next Friday. Diba? Oh, gig. Oh, sige. Gig. No, we, we, we see. If it's a Facebook, uh, Sa Facebook, minsan talagang nag observe ako eh. I, I, go to the face, I go to Facebook, tinitignan ko yung mga posts ng mga kapatiran. Pag may nakita ako medyo, ano, tatanungin ko, oh, kamusta na? How are you? Or even sometimes, you know, I, 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 I suddenly I get like, uy, pangalan eh. Uy, si Ja. Or, like for example, last night, si Donna, tinahit, chinat ko lang siya sa, sa Facebook. Because, you know, sometimes it comes, eh. No, you think about a person. And I believe that comes from concern to, uh, with people. Amen. I'm sure some of you, I already messaged, kahit hindi niyo ako sinasagot. Diba? Yung wave, yung wave ko doon, naka-wave pa rin hanggang ngayon. Six months na yung wave ko, yung kamay ko, wala pa rin nag-wave back. <laughs> Grabe. Kasi may wave ngayon, di ba? Yung wave ko, yung wave ko, wave pa rin ngayon ka ngayon. Walang nag-wave back eh. No, I normally kasi message sa FB because I really try to, ano eh, to, to squeeze that also in my, my office pag uh, may konting free time, then message. You know, we, we need to lead with sincere um, and utmost concern for our brethren. No, I, I want to use the word flock, but, you know, flock means that you have a person under you, you know? but it's not only that. It can be anyone. Diba? But the good thing is, magkaroon ka ng shepherd's heart that this is your flock, that you're concerned with that person. Love our flock even if it hurts. Yeah, yeah. Even if it hurts. Many times, yung mga leaders natin, yan, yung mga life lesson group facilitators natin, uh, I'm sure most of us who are not yet part of a life lesson group, hindi pa, hindi pa, hindi pa kayo part. Yan. Be part of one. Diba? Be part of one. Masarap po na merong isang grupo. It's really nice to have a group that you can, you know, you can be together with. No, hindi lang naman yan ano, eh, sa pag-aaral ng Bible or pag-fellowship. But it's really like a small family. I saw last uh, time nag-outing sila Philip sa, sa, ano, sa Wild Wadi. Hindi malang nagyaya. <laughs> no, it, it, but it really looks fun. No? Kasi puro boys. You know, and I'm sure, I'm sure these guys went out clean fun. No? Clean fun. Kasi when you go out with someone who are not with your own, with your same faith, di ba? Oh, yung gugulat kami, talagang punta door, di ba? 
May nakasok-sok dito ng mga barbecue. Nandito yung ano, sa kabila, fundador, di ba? No, but when you go out with your, your church family, you can be assured that there's a clean fun, no? So, love your flock even if, even if it hurts, no? You know, there will be different people that will come to your life. Hindi lahat po yan sa sangayon. Hindi lahat po yan magpapa, magpapapastor sa inyo. You know, hindi lahat yan mag, mag, uh, uh, mag-a-agree sa inyo. But, you know, uh, we need to love them otherwise. No, in spite of. No. People will not care how much you know until they know how much you care. Ito lagi ito sinishare sa atin ng, ng ating uh, senior pastor, si Pastor Willie, that people will not care how much you know until they know how much you care. This is what where I'm saying earlier that, you know, knowledge, you know, education is not of importance. Yes, it will have impact later on. But it's not the requirement. The requirement is heart. They will not care, especially if you have a new person that you are trying to minister. Will not care, you know, if you memorized uh, the Bible from cover to cover. Diba? Yabang mo pa eh. Alam ko yan, Romans 8.20, 8.29. Oh, at least hindi na John 3.16. Yeah. So, but, you know, most of the, the time, the, there will be no impact on that, eh, no? but there will be impact on how did you care. Diba? Galing mo nga sa Bible, but di mo naman binabati yung kasamaan mo sa trabaho. Diba? Di ka malang namimigay ng choknat. Isang box na gano'n yung choknat mo. Hindi mo malabigyan yung kasamahan mo kahit isang piraso. Huh? They, they will not care. Kahit sa mega church ka pa natin. No? But if you don't care for the person. No? John 10, 11 says, I am the good shepherd. Ito po yung model natin. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Tuloy ko na sa 12, the hard hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. You know, uh, we lay down our lives to the flock. Part yan ng watching over. Eh. Proverbs 27:23 says, be sure you know the conditions of your flocks. Give careful attentions to your herds. We need to give full attention to our herds. Mamaya dyan yung iba nasa, diba? kunyari ka life lesson mo, no? Yun pala, nasa Austria na pala nakatira. Ngayon mo lang nalaman. Hindi <laughs> mo alam kung ano nangyari. You know, people will come in and out of our lives. May darating, may aalis, yeah, sakit. Yeah. You know, you will love them, you will care for them, you will uh, serve them, and finally, they will still also leave. Diba? And these things, we don't have control on this because people have choices. Amen? Same as you are before. Probably you have done that also before. Nagkukunyari ka lang na hindi. You know, people will come in and out of your life. But what is important is how you made them feel while they are with you. Amen? So, kung malis man siya, then you cannot do anything with it. But I believe that person will always remember what you have made him or her feel. Di ba? Alam mo yan, yung pagdating ng panahon, after two, three, five years, mariremember niya pa rin, ay si Jen. Lagi niya akong nililibre ng karakti. <laughs> Doon sa baba ng uh, Madinat Said. Di ba? So, you know, how you made them feel, they will always, I'm sure, they will all, ako, I still remember what my 
<laughs> the previous the previous pastors that uh, ministered to me, I still remember what they have done. You know, and as I mentioned, people will be part of our lives. Ako, even up to now, I still see uh, yung mga brethren that have been part of my, my, my life. Though it hurts me sometimes that I'm seeing them na, you know, their lives are Nag, nag, talagang nag stray away sila from the lo, for, for, from the love of the Lord. I still I still continue to pray to the Lord that uh, ma uli sila, mahuli uli sila ng panginoon, makatch uli sila ng panginoon. And I I still continue to message them, kahit again yung aking message two years ng uh, red pero walang reply. <laughs> no, I mean it happens. You know it it pains me but I know that. The God has a plan, and uh, I just pray that that plan will will come to pass in their life. It's hard always to let go, but what gives me joy is when I know in myself that I was able to impart God's love and lessons to them. Okay, so ganon din tayo. No, we need to look and watch over. As I mentioned, we natin hindi naman ako leader, hindi naman ako no. You will be. And I'm claiming that in Jesus' name. Na lahat tayo rito, all of us who are here. Yes, palakpakan natin ng Panginoon. Uh, alam nyo sa akin, wala sa hinagap ng isip ko na magiging pastor ako. <laughs> but I serve, one thing that I had is I really serve God with all of my heart, my soul, and my mind. Amen? We'll be hurt. But, nakakatuwa, it will always give joy and encouragement whenever you see others that who stay back and perseveres. Nakakatuwa po yun na kahit may mga umalis sa iyong flak, merong mga dumarating at nagpapatuloy who is continuously doing great things for the Lord. Amen? Amen. We need to do yung watching over and concern, um, not because we need to. Kasi sabi sa Bible eh. Yan ang unang-una eh, no? Of course, it's first it will be obedience. But it shouldn't stay that way. There should be a genuine concern. No? Hindi lang dahil sinabi. But you're doing it because, abound, uh, because love abounds from our hearts that you want to share it to someone. And there's this concern that they may get, may get in trouble or their lives wasted. So may concern talaga. No? Hindi lang dahil sinabi. So right now I have shared it to you. But it shouldn't stay that way. It should be a part of our lives. You're doing it because you love to do it. Amen? Not because I was told to do it. And when you do that, that simply means that it's really in you. Yung pagigipong shepherd. Next, a shepherd serves. No, serves. Napaka importante. Uh, uh, I myself learned this in our family, ACCI family. Here, in ACCI family, I learned that service is really, you know, the way of a Christian life. No, because Jesus Christ served. No, he didn't came here to be served. In fact, he didn't came here uh, of na merong Christian, ay, may, merong royal family. He came with what? With with the family of uh, a, carpent, a carpenter at saka siya, siya, siya pinanganak sa sabsaban. So, he didn't came here to be Someone great ka agad, no? Of course, he's great. But he came very humble. He came from, you know, one of the poor, poor family. And yung nga sa shepherd na ano yun, na sabsaban. So, but, he came here to serve. I can still, you know, remember yung, yung, yung scene wherein he washed the feet of the disciples. 
It's one of the lowly um, work because it's a work of a servant. No? Pag darating ka, hugasan yung paa mo, no? Because before naman, di pa uso yung mga vans, no? Di pa uso yung vans, no? Sandals pa lang. So, your feet is always dirty. So, talagang kailangan nugasan yung pa. He did that. Sabi. Kaya nga sabi ni Peter, Lord, paliguan nyo rin ako. <laughs> But, you know, we can see that Jesus Christ serve the people. He lead and serve. That's why, what I have learned, before kasi, no, I'm seeing, no, whenever you are Uh, you know, a religious leader. You know, you need to be served. Ah, in fact, in Africa, it's still like that. You know, I when I went to Kenya, uh, yung mga pastors don't, you know, they don't get their own cup. Someone, someone should go to to them, because we we had a conference. Uh, me and Pastor Pastor Jerry had shared yung G12 don't eh. So they. They they uh, um, they gathered all the pastors in one place and you know had the conference. So I, w- I was just observing, and talagang ano they won't 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 stand up in uh, in their seats. So you have to give cups and you have to give bread. You have to pour out the coffee for them. And uh, so uh, this is my idea before even before I went to Kenya that you know. They need to preserve. Even in in our previously region in the Philippines, it's like you know they cannot be touched. No, they, you need to. But everything was changed when I started really learning about the true love of God. That we need to serve people, and I I have learned that in ACC. Because I remember when when we were starting, talagang grave. Everything is being done by by Pastor Willie before. He drives for us. He cleans the ano. He cleans the hall because we started in a in a flat. So all of this I learned and I I was able to to imitate that. And when I, I when I was reading the Bible, it, it really um, it really showed me that eto nga this is the thing that we need to do. Serve. So we are here, not just to preach, not just to lead, but also to serve. So kung kailangan yung pung maglipat ng bahay, uh, ang number ko po ay zero five zero seven seven eight four six eight nine. No, yes, we really do that. No, whenever we a brethren need something, we 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 always we always. Uh, uh, Open our arms and you know help. Very important, po yan. I, and I'm sure all the life leaders can can also attest that. I'm sure they or also did that to serve their their fellow brethren to serve their flock. Uh, we need to serve. There's two things I just want to share. Sabi po sa Matthew 20:28, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give His life as a ransom for many. Already a ransom, but still He served. Serve comes from the heart, so we need to serve willingly. No, willingly. Hindi dahil again sinabi, hindi dahil uh, you want just want to help. Always and always have the heart of doing things, whatever serve God's people. Lagi po tayong ready to think. Oh, what can I do for you today? Ah, di ba? Saan ba yun? Parang Microsoft yun ha? Ah, what do you want to do today at ayon? No, always have this heart of service. No, always asking or always ready. You know to you know to be to to put your hands out and. And uh, serve your 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 fellow ano your fellow family member. Lagi tayong nag-iisip, paano ko kaya matutulungan ito? What, what does she need? Kailangan mo ba maghahatid sa airport? Kailangan mo ba ng katulong maglilipat? 
or magpipintura ng bahay. <laughs> you know, sometimes we laugh that it's, what's these small things? You know, but you know, small things makes big difference. Diba? You know, I, I cannot forget what Pastor Willie did for me before. I was looking for a job. Kasi, I think three to four months akong walang salary din doon. So, I think it's high time to look for another job. So, uh, I look for a job. It's in the airport. So, may, medyo malayo from here, no? So, alam mo yun, Pastor Willie may, uh, make his way to, to bring me there. And not only bring me there, he waited for me there. Parang tatay ko talaga na, alam mo yun, ma-attend ng interview, waiting for you, and then coming back. You know, simple things. Ah, simple lang naman eh. Natid ka lang eh. Di ba? Shadow ka namang emo. Di ba? <laughs> but simple things make dif- big difference. Especially if you have a heart of thanksgiving. And this is what God is instilling to us, di ba? Heart of thanksgiving. Have a, will- a willing heart. God guards us also from burnouts. Yung, yung willing heart, eh, pag willing ka palagi, alam niyo yung ibig sabihin ng burnout? napapagod. Ay, palagi namang ano, ganyan. Diba? But if you have a willing heart, walang burnout eh. But if you're doing it, kasi gusto mo lang gawin na, alam mo yun, kasi sabi ni Pastor, gawin ko doon. Two to three times, mag-burnout ka na. Not because we need to, but because there's a genuine concern for that person, yung tinutulungan mo. Serve helpless, selflessly and humbly. We're not serve, not serving to gain. To gain what? To gain money? Ah, nag-serve ako sa'yo, ah, bigyan mo ako ng pera. To, ser- to gain favor. Kasi minsan may ganun eh, no? We serve, ah, so that this person will remember me later on. So when I ask him, he cannot say no. Ah, favor, eh, no? No, we, we forget about it. When we serve, forget about the service that you have done. No, forget about what you have done to that person. And when you do that, God will remember. Amen? God will remember. So when we serve, don't think or wait for something in return. Wala na pong balikan. No, wala. Ano ba yung movie na napanood natin? Yung pay it forward, yes. But you can pay it forward. You don't need to return it, but pay it forward. Nung ibig sabihin po ng pay it forward, do it to another person. So if I help you, I don't need you to help me back. Help another one. Pay it forward. So it's very important, no? especially here in our family, we are all of service. And you can see that. You know, our leaders, our, wala naman tayong elders, eh, no? Our leaders, our pastors, uh, we can see all of them working. No? They, they even go to you, even if it is inconvenient. Naalala ko si Pastor Eni tuloy, nagbabike daw yun eh. Nagbabike diba? from one place to another. Grabe, sa init na ito, nagbabike siya. Kasi daw, matagal daw mag-intay ng bus. So, but you know, this is one of the love that, that she shares to, to, to uh, her brethren. So this is what God wants us to learn. I, I also watched one movie last time, si Mother Teresa. I'm sure you are all, uh, all uh, familiar with that, uh, with the person. Uh, actually, ang dami niyang awards na nakuha, no? But I, I saw one movie, Letters of Mother Teresa. And I saw there, talagang grabe yung service na pinakita niya. Uh, she went out of the convent to serve people. Doon sa slums. Grabe, nung una nga, hindi niya matikin. Eh. Sa movie lang naman yan. But, it shows us also her heart. No? And I think that's one, one, uh, one area that we can imitate. Yung heart ng, ng person na yun. Amen? Next. God's shepherd is a role model. No? Hindi po yan uh, clothing model or uh, f- uh, fashion model, but role model. Proverbs 22, 6 says, Train up a child on the way they should go, and even when they're old, they will not turn from it. 
You know, there's one word that was mentioned in 1 Peter 5, 1 to 4 that says lording over. What is lording over? It means that you are forcing your authority to a person. Parang sa mga opisina natin, Hoy, gawin mo to, gawin mo yan, gawin mo to. Yeah? Nutusan tayo ng mga boss natin, di ba? This is like, you know, because there's an authority for them to command us. No? Misa nga, pati kaparehas mong staff, eh, inutusan ka na rin, eh, di ba? <laughs> gawin mo to, gawin mo yan. No, lording over. No, but this is not the model that Jesus Christ has laid upon us. Hindi po lording over. Not by commands, not by authority, but by example. You know, I can still uh, fathom the act of God, the act of Jesus coming down here, you know, living a life of a human being and dying. He can do it, eh, di ba? He can do salvation there. Pwede naman dyan, parang yung magic, di ba? Kasi He's all-powerful. Actually, He created all of us, all of these things around us in seven days, in six days, by words. Tayo lang, different, di ba? By hands tayo. He, then He can do also salvation by that, di ba? Let all you human beings be saved. And it can happen. I believe it can happen. Do you? But why? Why? Because Jesus Christ wants to show us, show us an example. So no one can say, no, I cannot do it. No, you're God. He came down here 100% man. So the pain that you can feel was felt by him. Pag, nung pinapalo mo na siya. Yung nails that were nailed into his palm, he was able to feel that. Katulad pag ikaw eh natutusok. Because he wants to show us an example. Not lording over us. Not lording over us. So, all of us are role models. Sabi mo sa sarili mo, I am a role model. So, we live by example. Pinapakita po natin, hindi natin pinipwersa, we're not forcing our belief, our faith to others, but we show them what we believe. Pag sinasabi mong show, it's more of action. So, you're leaving the Word of God. So, raise, raise up your flocks, raise up your flocks as God have raised you and me. No? Wala pong different standard. Kunyari, ano ba yung standard na natutunan ko kay Pastor Willie? It will always be the standard of God na nababasa natin sa Bible. So, I will live by it and I will raise my flocks the flocks that have been God entrusted to me, also the same standard, the standard coming from God. We need also to share and feed our flocks spiritual food and quench their thirst with living water. So, hindi lamang po uh, actions, of course, we need to share the word of God to them. Amen. So, as a, as a role model. Don't be like a sheep dog. Ano po yung sheep dog? Dalawa yan, no? shepherd at saka sheepdog. Yung sheepdog, yun yung katulong ng shepherd. No? Ngayon, in, 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 uh, in present time, you know, the sheepdog helps the, the shepherd uh, shepherd the, 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 the sheep. No, but, you know, the hearts of these two um, elements or entity, yung human being na shepherd at saka yung sheepdog mag magkaiba. The shepherd is shepherding the sheep with concern. Kasi sa kanya yun eh. Di ba? Parang pag may ilaga ka sa Philippines ng mga baka. 
or goats, di ba? You don't want them to be hurt kasi if you have uh, if you have uh, paid for for them, di ba? Uh, as a business, you will lose kung may nangyari sa kanila. So may concern ka doon sa sa goat or sa sa sheep in in what in in my in what I'm saying. So the 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 heart of the shepherd and the sheep dog is different. So yung shepherd may concern doon sa sheep. But the sheep dog, yan, yung dog. He doesn't have any concern. Kala niyo lang concern yung dog sa sheep? No. He doesn't have any concern for the sheep. He's just trying to what? He's just trying to to follow his instinct. And what is the instinct of the sheep dog? To boss around the herd. The sheep dog wants to feel that I am the boss. In fact, yung sheep dog hindi mo lang lagay sa sheep, lagay mo yan sa ducks, sa cows, everything. He will try to herd the the, the animals. Kasi in his heart, he wants just to satisfy yung kanyang uh, anyang uh, kagustuhan to lord over to be boss of the sheep hindi concern so sheep dogs are very affected by the way in doing this in in lording over the sheep so you know this is not god wants us to 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 have yung maging bosses tayo maging lords we, we have so many bosses already outside in our offices i think ako napakadami kong boss eh Pati yata yung office boy namin, boss namin eh. Kasi matapang pa sa amin yung office boy namin eh. Pag tinawagan mo yung office boy namin ng alas 10 eh, darating alauna eh. Galit pa. What do you want? Without milk? Grabe mga office boy namin. So, you know, we don't, we don't need that anymore eh. Di ba? But we want, some, we want someone who will shepherd us. And be our role model. You know, role models are very important. In fact, most of our life, most of our years, our lives, we're touched by a role model in our life. Most of the time, sa mga lalaki, tatay natin. Yeah. Sa mga babae, nanay, nanay, nanay nyo. No, we, we're all moved by, by their lives. Role model talaga natin sila. So we also have to be a role model to our flocks, to our brethren. Now again, I'm talking about flocks, but you can be a role model also for other people. Balik ako doon sa opisina, di ba? You can be a role model in your office. Di ba? Be not a part of the things that they are doing that is not good. Di ba? Mali na nga, nakikijoin ka pa eh, no? Yay, yeah, okay yan! Good! So don't be like a sheepdog, not lording over, but living your life, living our lives as role models. Amen? Role model po tayo. So that they will see the work of God, the word of God in, uh, in action sa mga buhay natin. Amen? And you know, uh, pag nag tayo ng example, by auto- not by authority, okay? Eh, the love of God will be felt. Yeah. Example. And one thing also I learned, we cannot ask anyone to do something that we ourselves cannot do. And I learned that in, in, in our church family, even sa ACC sa Philippines. Okay, especially kay Pastor Jerry. I don't know if most of you have uh, already met Pastor Jerry. Uh, most of us have met Pastor Jerry. But really, our senior pastor in the Philippines is one good example of this uh, thing that I have mentioned. We cannot ask anyone to do something that we ourselves cannot do. Si Pastor Jerry, grabe sa, sa giving. You know, he cannot, he cannot say, no, let's, let's, let's give. For example, there's a project to build a big church no, or, or a building. He will not just say that. He will be the first one 
no to uh, ano tawag dito mag uh, mag pledge the first one to pledge money for that church building at hindi lang small amount talagang nagpe-pledge and even hear us you know we cannot do something that uh, we we ourselves cannot do Kaya it's very important like you cannot say you have to your flocks or to your brethren no mag ka you have to do tithing like what brother mark have mentioned earlier you have to tithe but you cannot tell that because you, you yourself are not doing you yourself cannot follow amen so very important that we first then others will follow uh, i also learned one thing here that not only idea you know, there are so many things that we need to do and there's so many things that we want to do for god but sometimes most of that are just ideas it's not supposed to be just ideas i i know so many people they have so many ideas pero walang nagagawa you know when ever you have an idea that you want to do something for the Lord, you have to do it. No? Of course, it's good to always share it so that others can help. No? But, you know, it should start with us. Oh, I want to. That's why we listen to Pastor. Wow! Good idea. Okay, Nak. You're going to do that. That's why I give you the idea. No. But, you know, it, it's, it's impressed to you. It means something, right? It's, it means something. Anyway, tatandaan, let's always remember, whatever is not accomplished through us will be accomplished with another person. You know, because the work of God will not stop with you. The work of God will not stop with me. If I did not accept today this preaching, Somebody else will. Diba, Pastor Rakati? <laughs> Amen. Somebody else. No, but it's always, you know, it's always, um, uh, it's always a joy to serve God. Amen. It's always a joy to do something great for the Lord. Amen. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. So, how do we shepherd God's flock for His glory and honor? Number one, a God shepherd watches over a God shepherd serves. A God shepherd is a role model. So, today, we claim that tayo po ay magiging isang shepherd ng Panginoon. You know, don't, you know, don't just dream little for the Lord. Our God is a big God. Amen? So, dream big for the Lord. In closing, you know, the most fulfilling service we can offer our living God is when we know that we have become a part of somebody's spiritual life. Yan po ang pinakamasarap. That's the best thing that I can say in our ministry. To be part of somebody's spiritual life. Keep on caring for his flock and for sure you will earn crowns of glory in heaven's treasure chest with your name on it. Asarap siguro pagdating, naano nyo ba yon? na i-imagine nyo. Kaya magandang kantang, I can only imagine. You know, you can imagine when you're there, nasalubungin ka ng Panginoon, two, two hands, two arms wide open, di ba? And sasabihin ka na, well done. Pasok anak. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Kumpara naman doon sa papasok anak, babato ka kapag gano'n naman. Papasok ka because you have received Jesus Christ but you have not done anything for him. You have not done anything regarding your salvation. So, keep on caring for his flock and for sure you will earn crowns of glory in heaven's treasure chest with your name on it. Kaya huwag kayong papalit ng pangalan, di ba? Kasi baka mamay pagdating, di ba natin yung pangalan? Challenge for today, the harvest is plentiful. God needs willing hearts to shepherd his flock. Kailangan niya po yung heart natin to be willing. He looks not at your past sins for it was taken care of by 
His Son on the cross. No, huwag po natin hayaan. Misa kasi ganun eh. Lord, I'm not worthy. I committed sin before. I'm not worthy to be of your service. Kalimutan po natin yan because your sins were washed away by the precious blood of Jesus. He looks not at your appearance, social status. Wag lang, uh, wag lang is compli- it's complicated. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, Facebook. Knowledge, ability, nor cap- capability. He wants your heart to have compassion for the lost and He will take care of the rest. Are you willing to be part of somebody's spiritual life? I'm sure most of us here are already. And praise the Lord for your life. Praise the Lord for your lives. And finally, Jesus is our good shepherd. Can you be one like Him? Sabi po kanina sa 1 Peter 5, 1-4, darating yung cheap, yeah, may cheap pala tayo, no? Cheap shepherd. Meron po tayong cheap shepherd. Jesus is our good shepherd. But He wants us to be like Him. Can you be one to someone? I'm not talking about right now that you have your own church. You know, you start with one. Amen? Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Ang ating pong memory verse will be coming from 2 Peter 1, 10 to 11. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, make every effort to confirm your calling and election. For if you do these things, you will never stumble and you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Napakasarap po pakinggan. Palakpakan uli natin ang Panginoon. Are you blessed? You will be more and doubly blessed pag yan po ay ginawa natin sa ating buhay. Nakikita ko na yung mga fire sa inyong mga mata. Napagkalapas pa lang dito sa ating uh, mass studio. Eh, gagawin nyo na yung ating mga pinag-usapan. Amen? You know, uh, I'm sure you're all recipient of God's love. Wag po nating ipagdamot sa iba. Pamigay din natin siya. Amen? Palakpakan po natin. Tayo po ito mayo.